Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to go over making some queries for the best worst video rental store in town. All right, this is an actual assignment in our Access class, and you can download the database to do this assignment and the directions. There will be a link in the description below um, for this video. So basically, I've got the, the starting database here. I've got my there's a customers table, a movies table, and a video rentals table. Of course, the customers table is going to keep track of the 1,500 customers we have on file. The movies uh, database, or I'm sorry, the movies table keeps track of the 350 movies we have on file. It's like the 250 best movies at IMDb and the 100 worst movies at IMDb. And if you're looking for a really good bad movie, you got to watch Birdemic Shock and Terror. It is so bad, it's funny. So watch it with a group of friends and just have a good time. So Birdemic Shock and Terror, gotta check it out. Now I've also got a table here. Oops, let me say no to save. Video rentals. And the video rentals table is gonna keep track of the movie that was checked out, the customer that checked it out, the date they checked it out and the date they returned it and we're going to be using this database a couple of other times today's goal is just some basic queries and later on we'll do it for some fancier queries and reports and forms and stuff like that but I've just got data there's basically there's 8,000 transactions here and just for the first few months of 2013 all right so that is the data we are working with now, I've also got some directions here, and I'm going to keep these off on my other screen, and you can download these directions following the link in, um, in the video description. So you can grab these directions yourself. Now, if you're really tackling this, really trying to push yourself, obviously, pause the video, go grab the directions, go grab the original database, and try to knock it out yourself before looking through the solution. So I'm going to keep this off to the side and let's work through this and I'm gonna kinda of go through them step by step so I'll kinda of read out what I'm gonna do and then I'll perform the task let's see first I've gotta download the starting database I've done that already I've downloaded my starting database and I've already resaved it with solutions so but I haven't done anything yet I've just got those three tables number two familiarize yourself with the tables and the data provided okay I did that looked at the data in there Establish appropriate relationships amongst the tables. So I'm going to go to Database Tools and Relationships. And these are my three tables available. I'm going to do, of course, Video Rentals is the junction table. A customer can rent many movies. A movie can be rented by many customers. That's a many-to-many -many relationship between customers and movies. So I'm using this associative entity table to combine them into two one-to-many relationships excuse me okay so I'm gonna attach customer ID to customer ID enforce referential integrity create movie ID to movie ID enforce referential integrity create so now I have a relationships established amongst the three tables one to many one to many go ahead and close that save when prompted alrighty so I'm finally on step three here, and step three is our first legitimate query. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the create, and I'm going to create a query using query design. Now I don't want to just bring in all three tables, okay? You only want to include tables in your query design that you actually need. Don't include more than you need because that will affect your results. First one is Create a query saved as uh, last names with letter A that shows the ID, name, address, phone number, and credit card expiration date for all customers. So it's focused just on customers. So I'll just bring in my customers table, close that, show more of the design grid. Let me read the directions here again. Last names with A that shows the ID, customer ID, name, address, phone number, name, address, phone number, and credit card expiration. So I'm also going to show the credit card expiration. There we go. So I've got this. The, so I actually have a query right here, but I have no criteria set, so it's not that exciting. Let me just run it just so you can see what it looks like. And of course, I'm going to get 1,500 results because I have 1,500 customers in the database. 
and there's all of their info. By the way, these are all fake people, so uh, don't try to call them up or anything. I use Excel to make uh, random names and random addresses using the most popular street names in America and the most popular first and last names in America and all that fun stuff. All right, so back to Design View. Still on this one query, I want only customers whose last name begins with the letter A. Pretty easy. I just head over to the last name field, actually. Um, and I forgot I didn't provide you a last name field here. Actually, I will in other databases. But I gave you a hint in the directions. And my hint was use the customer's ID because the customer's ID is built off of the first two letters of their last name. So I'll use that hint. And for the criteria, I'll just put an A asterisk. A for the letter that I'm interested in, an asterisk to represent any number of other characters. And as soon as I tab away, Access puts the proper syntax in for me. The like operator word, quote, A asterisk quote. Now if I were to run this query again, I only get 45 results. I have 45 customers with a last name beginning with the letter A. So let me go ahead and save that. File save object as and in the directions I'm going to call this last names with a click OK back home there we go so that is my first query and you notice in my object window I've got my three tables I now have my query so even if I didn't have this query opened I could double click it and rerun that query get the results I could jump over to design view and I could see how that query was created or you could see how that query was created I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I'm going to pick this up in a second uh, in another video.